This place is outrageous, Rob. Fuck the cricket, let's just stay here for a bit. Do you know what, what do you actually want to do when you're here? Go yeah. on a safari, drink some wine and sit on the beach. I'll be honest with you, when they said about the episode, they said, we're going to South Africa, I went, yes. <laughs> I didn't know why we were here until I saw loads of Barmy yeah. Army on the floor. Go to South Africa, yes. Yep. Hunting. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> so cricket it is then. Having arrived in the Rainbow Nation a few days before the start of the second test match, I had plenty of time to get Rob out of holiday mode. Oh, that looks amazing, that scene. And focus on the sport of gentlemen. Cape Town? South yes. Africa? Yeah. You excited? Not, it's, I am actually very excited. It's very nice, isn't it? Yeah, it's lovely. Only last summer for the first time ever, England won the World Cup in dramatic style. He's got it! England have won the World Cup! Truly remarkable scenes. Absolute ecstasy for England! So going into this four-match series against South Africa, we were the favourites. Very good shot in front of square, nicely played by Roots. But having lost the first test... It's got him! What a comeback! The pressure was on. South Africa with victory! I was excited about the prospect of an overseas cricket tour, but I sensed my partner in crime didn't really feel the same way. So, are you, so, so tell me this, are you more excited about being in Cape Town or the cricket? Um, or both? Do you want the truth? I want, yes, I would like the truth. Yes. I'd say 60-40 in favour of Cape Town. So 60-40 in favour of, of being in Cape Town? Yes, but also excited about the cricket. That's good. And are you coming into this thinking, I could see myself getting into this or not? I'll be honest with you, okay. I can I've tell been by thinking the port. about Cape Town. Okay. Um, just as a place to go, scope it out, maybe bring Lou and the kids mm. back. It's not to think the 60 40 might have been a load of shit to be. Yeah, honest. that was bullshit. We ate, we're 80 20. <laughs> Min. <laughs> Getting Rob excited about cricket wasn't going to be easy. So I enlisted the help of former England captain and South African native Kevin KP Peterson. KP had agreed to teach us the basics of the game, and if nothing else, it was an opportunity to hang out with a legend and brush up on my skills. Hello, mate. Hello, mate. Hey, guys. Hello, mate. You all right? Yes, I'm good. good. So here we are. We're here in the beautiful Cape Town, and I'm here to teach you how to bowl, how to bat, and how to catch some balls. Have you ever been on a bowling machine before? No. You haven't? No. We've got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. These around. are all miles per hour. So we flip them on. Okay. Now, this is what you do when you practice. So you practice and you go in there as a yeah. cricketer and you're batting in a, in a position. This allows you to bowl the ball in an area where you feel comfortable to play. All I want to do is just show you what, um, what you're about to face. Okay. Yeah. But it's going to be gentle. It's only 70 mile an hour. So... Holy sh... <laughs> Good to see you, KP. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely to meet you. Enjoy Cape Town. Enjoy Cape Town. All Come the on. best. Come on. <laughs> Come on. You can absolutely piss off, mate, <laughs> if you think I'm going anywhere near that. And that's 70 miles per hour. So in our game, that's military medium. That's medium. That's medium. I'd be nervous if I sat in my car down there. Practice tough, play easy. Right. Yeah. OK, thank you for that. So, with KP's ominous words of wisdom fresh in our ears, it was time to get kitted up with some protective gear. Two issues. One, KP's terrifying. Two, I don't know how to do these pads. So, apart from that, absolutely buzzing. What are you struggling with? This. What? Right, so this pad, so that, that's, that's obviously for your leg, it's not for anything else. I can't actually believe I'm doing your freaking pads. <laughs> are you joking? Cricket legends. I'm just about crowing your leg up. <laughs> Comfortable? Great. Thank you. Yeah. OK, you reckon you can do this one? Yeah, I'll do this one myself, thank there you. There we go. That's exactly what I do with my son. I do one, you do the other. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks very much, I appreciate it. Thanks for your help. No worries, mate. I'd argue the gloves should be the last thing I reckon thing you, you should put your lid on before you uh, put that left, okay, left great. glove on. Will you be able to get your glasses back on in there? Let's have a look. Yeah, I reckon you're good. <laughs> <laughs> You want me to put your glasses on for you? <laughs> there we go. I mean, this is, this is a joke. Satisfied that little Romesh was all protected, Rom was all set to put his batting skills into practice. Your stance is perfect. You tell me when you're ready. OK, I'm ready. <laughs> 
Are you shitting me? <laughs> what speed was that? 50. That was not 50, Kate. And I've been nice. I've kept it away from the stumps. Pathetic. Out. Pathetic. 50 miles an hour. It felt like it was moving through time. It was so quick. Oh, come on! Rubbish, rubbish, rubbish. How many more chances do you want? When he's not coaching you cricket, big fan of him. When he's coaching me cricket, he can piss off. Fuck's sake! Still not very good. No, no, it's all awful. He's horrible. You could do it. Oh, yes, rubbish! Shit! <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> It's... Ramesh, did that really hurt? Yeah, did it really hurt? <laughs> did it really hurt? What did it hit? It, 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 hit, his, it hit his glove. My wrist is fucked, mate. Was it your wrist or your hand? It's here. <laughs> that could be a problem. That was the only time I saw a flicker of humanity from Kevin Peterson, because he looked a bit concerned that he'd broken my wrist first time out. Right, what, come on. What did it hit your hand? It hit what? his wrist. There's nothing wrong with him. Nothing wrong with him. You have one more. One more, yeah, yeah. One more. One more. Ready? Well done. I thought that was outstanding. Thank you very much. I think you were very, very good. Yeah. Having set an incredibly low benchmark with his bowling... Right, your turn. I couldn't wait to see what Rob was capable of... Go and dress yourself. ...when you put a bat in his hands. Here we go. Start at the top. 60 mile an hour. Oh, God. So fast. Yeah! Oh No idea what happened. What about that? <laughs> That's my celebration. It turns out that Rob is one of the greatest secret batsmen that the country has ever known. Here we go. Yeah! Oh my God. What about this? That is Bob. Is that all right? That's, That's amazing. Quality. Okay. I felt like I was in a battle. I had armor on and a bat, and stuff was coming out. I was like, "Have that. Stick that with your wallet." Jesus, he's good. <laughs> okay. Oh! Crunch! <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! Yes! I love this. We have something. Kevin Peterson, I think, definitely prefers me to Romesh. We finally have something. The best for last. You were shit. He's good. <laughs> you were shit. I think I'm in love with Kevin Peterson. Outstanding. This is cricket. This is cricket. Top of off stump. This is cricket. Absolutely crushing them home. That's good. Hands open into the bread basket, OK? So you're going to bring the ball into your bread basket. Into your bread basket. Very good. I like that. Into your bread basket. Yep, that's outstanding. And again, outstanding. Oh, good learners. Right, let's just use the bat. Hands OK? I feel like I'm trying to impress my dad. <laughs> OK, there we go. Right, so just give me another yard or two. Okay. Another yard or two. Yeah. I'm going to jump this up a little bit. Okay. The ball is hard. It's yeah. a cricket ball. This is what we play with. Rum? Oh. Yes, there's my boy. There's my boy. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> up she goes. What were you taking away there? Why is it... Just that wasn't even high. Just stop frickin' wobbling your head. Yeah, ready. There we go. You've got that. Outstanding. 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 Thank you. So good. Oh, who's that for? Rob? That's oh, your... oh, I don't like it. I don't like it. <laughs> That's horrible. <laughs> That's horrible. It's too high. It turns out that Rob Beckett is shit scared of this. He's absolutely terrified of it. Don't be A that guy. never gone that high before don't in be cricket, has it? Don't be that guy. It hurt when it was low. <laughs> They're, they're laughing at me. Brilliant. Humiliated. Right. You've got a few South Africans watching you. You've got a whole audience here. Yeah. Show oh, something. The ball will go up, Rob will get underneath it, and then just shit himself. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh... I have never seen somebody as scared of an inanimate object as much as Rob Beckett is of this cricket ball. I am useless. I can't catch or throw. It's a mental block, isn't it? I think it is. I think it is. It's so hard. How are you doing it? And is it hurting? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's hurting a lot. I feel I'll you be honest with you. I'll be it. honest with you, my bread basket is broken. <laughs> I thought you were doing it in a way you didn't know. I'm in agony. <laughs> you know the Atlas Stones in World's Strongest Man? Them but tiny. Rock hard, little balls. <clears throat> right, one more each. Okay, 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 one more each. That's mental. That's absolutely mental. Ah! <laughs> 
Is that how you celebrate? <laughs> what about that? What about that? He went for it. Yeah, okay. He went for okay. it. Okay, right. You're done. All right, I'm done. Very good. Okay. Thank you. Okay, all right. Come on. Okay. Last one. Please go, on, Bobby. Bread basket, hands, bread basket. <laughs> <laughs> that <laughs> looks so funny. You know what they say at a lot of schools around That's, the world that now? That's swollen immediately. You know what they say at a lot of schools? <laughs> it's the effort. Yeah. It's, I tried, it's, the, then. it's the taking part that yeah. counts. Um, how is it? Well, it's already swollen. Is that normal? If it's broken, yeah. Batting one for Rob, bowling one for Rom. Let's see who's the overall best cricketer. Oh, look who's just smashed it with the catch. Ramesh, Jonathan, Ranganathan. Here we go. Rob? So the humiliation was over, but KP wasn't quite done with us. <laughs> we've bowled, we've batted, and more importantly, we've been out here with the beautiful setting of Table Mountain. We've tried to catch, mm. OK? You caught an absolute ripper. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to organise that my buddy, Nasser Hussain, at Newlands, England are playing a test match against South Africa at the moment, for you guys to go at lunchtime. Nasser's going to feed three balls, pretty similar to what you've done now, but I need a winner. We have to find a winner, and one of you will be that guy. OK. Well, we're both, I'd, both, I'd quite like, I'd to, like, be like, to, be, I'd like to be that guy. I feel like, like my CV guy. isn't putting me forward to be that guy, but... OK. okay. You have thank it? you. Yes, thank you so much. I really appreciate mate, it. Mate, no, great. Oh, love Cheers, it. Thank you so much. Really good fun. Thank you. Thank Cheers, you so much. Hope I wasn't too tough on you. Cheers, right. mate. Sir. You don't mind pain if you win. Mm. I wish him luck, but uh, I fear a broken finger. Did yours hurt? Yeah, a lot. It's so humiliating. Rob and I are in South Africa. Oh, God. Taking on the world of cricket. How do you do this? And our first stop on this journey of humiliation was some training. And the prize is the stumps. With an icon of the game, Kevin Peterson. Hands open. So you're going to bring the ball into your bread basket. Where we quickly discovered <laughs> that I can't hit the ball. <laughs> Pathetic. Out. And I was terrified oh. of catching it. What's up for Rob? Oh, <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like it. Personally, I hadn't come all the way to South Africa just to watch some cricket. So, as we had some time to kill before the start of the test match, I'd arrange for us both to see some wildlife. Promising my cricket Kino partner would be safely back in time for the test match. Have you done safari before? Never. And are you into animals? Uh, yeah, yeah, but when you say it like that, it sounds weird. What do you mean into? I well, OK, it's weird if I said, are you into fucking animals? <laughs> We saw two we saw an animal getting fucked, didn't we? Do you remember? Oh yeah, in that zoo. <laughs> when we was with our kids, that was awful because we thought it was funny. Just you know, see a, a two a, zebras, wasn't it? A zebra oh. undocking through its butt. And my, my kids were just like, "What are, Daddy, doing? What are they doing?" I was thinking, Rob is in the car in front, dealing with exactly the same conversation. <laughs> what are they doing? What are they doing? It was all funny, all laugh. They were climaxing when we saw them. No, he was he was doing it, and then we we got the tail end of it as he withdrew, and it was like a multi-pack of Yakult had been smashed on the floor. Yeah, but that's climax, isn't it? If, if that, that was, weren't climax, that it wouldn't was... want to be the end of it when it is. I was anxious they had to explain it to my boys, but yeah. also delighted that you had to explain it to your girls. Yeah, they were just playing, and then he spilt a drink. Is that what you said? Yeah. He spilt a drink? He knocked over a drink. With his dick? With his leg. Nice. So now they think zebras have got five legs? Yes, and they're very clumsy. <laughs> The chance of seeing more happy zebras today was quite high, as were the chances of Ramesh missing the entire first day of the cricket. I get so anxious about getting there on time, and then we end up getting there really early because I'm worried that we're going to miss something. Yeah. And I'm like that about nothing else. Really? Yeah. What I hadn't told Ramesh was, to get to the start of the safari, we'd be travelling in a mode of transport not exactly designed to carry two overweight... Because you said... We're, we're popping out for a safari. Yeah. And now we're on a plane. Oh, yeah, that's quicker than driving. Do you promise we'll make it back for the cricket? Uh, yes. For some reason, I still wasn't totally convinced, as we were quickly moving further and further away from anything representing a cricket stadium. The way things were going, I couldn't imagine how this day could get any worse. And then, of course, it did. 
this at all. That was a bit lightning there. Well, that's handy, it's good to know. Good to see that. Little thing. Yeah. If you see any more of that, don't mention it to me. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'll keep the lightning. Just as a little, myself, but just as a little tip. Um, never been that close to lightning before. This high. Are we actually? But we're not. Are we actually just doing what? Are we doing like a tall tourist experience? Yeah. to get shown around, luxury, yeah. absolutely amazing. What happened? What did you just say? Lightning. What did I say to you? You asked again. You mean do that? <laughs> yeah, like you just, it's hard not to when you see lightning that far away. Don't from react you. to it. Okay. Don't say anything. Fucking hell. I could tell things were bad because even Robert stopped talking. Do you know the last time I saw a view like that, it was in the film Alive, about those guys that crash on that man and have to eat each other. What's if we go down in this, do you reckon we'll get in the paper? If, if, if we went down now yeah. and died, I would be so angry with you. <laughs> Thankfully, at least today, Rob's ass was not on my dinner menu as the runway finally came into view. And after what seemed like forever, the tin can with wings touched down safely in what looked like the middle of nowhere. Where we'd probably both be eaten by the lions. You'll see Rob in a safari outfit. You look really good. Cheers, mate. It's what I um, got for Longleat, so I thought we'd use it again. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. 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 Hello. 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 No, that's, that's fine. That's the perfect outfit. Okay, so what, is the hat too much? Do you think, or is that? No, good? I think it's beautiful. It's thank okay. you, Lucy. <laughs> thank you. A bit of positivity around here. <laughs> right, yeah, thank you. Well, All right, let's okay. hop on board. Let's do it. Yeah. You get boy. All right. <laughs> Let's have some fun. How are you getting in? Oh, yes, here we go. <laughs> Look at that. I think Kim Kardashian wants her boots back. <laughs> you cannot. You cannot say anything to me about what I'm wearing, mate. Finally, our safari adventure was underway. What do you want to see first? I want to see you take that hat off, ideally. <laughs> Before us lay 54,000 acres of pristine South African wilderness, home to some of the greatest animals on the planet. How prepared am I? Been waiting all my life for this. Smithers Mammals of Southern Africa, a field guide. Every one they've got in it and I'm looking to find all of them. He is so excited about this. He, he's already annoying visually. That's before we even started speaking to him. So God knows what this is gonna be like. Cheetah there. Cheetah! Yes! Cheetah! Cheetah. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's a tick off book. Space for notes. I don't make any notes, but the way I'm gonna do it is tick them as I go. What hogs? War hog. From War hogs. War hogs. War hogs. Giraffe! Giraffes! Oh. Rob, it's giraffe! All right, quiet. quiet. Sorry. One of the things about going on safari is you are, the, the whole point is you're supposed to be as quiet as you can. And another one! Oh, my God. Three of them! And another four! It's an absolute giraffe bon bonanza! You've got to basically become one with nature, move through the area silently. It's just so exciting. Absolute giraffe bonanza! <laughs> Unfortunately, We've got a fog on on our vehicle called Rob Beckett, and he doesn't shut up ever. We are ripping through this. I'm gonna run out of bloody ink, can I, Lucy? <laughs> you wanna give us some facts, Rob? Um, they like grassland. What do you know? Thank you for confirming that. <laughs> That's come as a massive surprise to everyone, that. <laughs> and unfortunately for everybody on board, this was only the beginning of Beckett's brilliant factoids. So I imagine that's a, uh, a male, seeing as he's on his own. So the chances are quite good yeah, that it's a male. You're <laughs> such a teacher's pet. 
they sometimes take over like little dens and burrows of like aardvarks. They do. That's amazing. Yes, that's yeah. all true. <laughs> Completely true. Thanks. Um, they feed a lot at night, don't they? <laughs> Am I wrong? No, you're not wrong. Oh, thanks. So, what else, bro? <laughs> what? What else? They weigh about 14 kg at birth. <laughs> Unusual What's to say kg thing? when you're dropping it into conversation, but yeah. Is it? That's how I talk now. That's how we talk kg. Do you say kg? We do. Yeah, mm. we do. You guys keep listening to the black Qurans calling. Black Quran. Let me actually show you what it looks like. Don't worry, I'm on it. Oh, you're on it. <laughs> you got the bird in your mammal book then. I got the blue wildebeest. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Wow, well, okay. Lucy's on fire today. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> smashed you. <laughs> two footed, you cleaned me out. Absolutely smashed through me, two footed. Bottled it rest of the game. Got so taken casually off at half delivered time. as well. You got a bird there in your mouth. Yeah, I, you know what? I didn't even get it until you laughed. <laughs> <laughs> Rob and I are in South Africa on a mission to learn everything we can about cricket. Yeah! Oh my God! Yes! Today, at a sold-out Newland Stadium in Cape Town, England are about to play against the host nation on the first day of the second test. A lot of England support here. 1-0 down in the series, they needed to get off to a good start. The day is there to be seized by somebody. And after winning the toss, Zach Crawley opened the batting. What an opportunity for him. Nudging a quick single to set England on their way. Barmy Army getting up and sung now. Before Ben Stokes and Ollie Pope started racking up the runs. Never any doubt about the outcome there. Brilliant. That's nicely played. Oh, that's so well played. Oh, no. Oh, yes. But as England's day had begun well, mine had gone off the beaten track. Because we were over 600 miles away from the action. Ah! as I've been led astray by the prick Rob Beckett. His exact words were, we're going to pop out for a safari. And we got on a plane. And as Rob ticked off his bucket list... Rob's draft. All right, quiet, quiet. I resigned myself to the fact that I wouldn't be seeing any cricket today. Meanwhile, our safari rangers, possibly to compensate for my misery, set up a little game of their own. So there's this game <coughs> that has been going on for many generations. Yeah, okay. it's cricket. We pick up some impala dung and um, we try to spit it as far as we can. And um, it's joking? great fun. What? Yep. So we have some small impala dung. Yep. So the rules were simple and much easier to grasp than the rules of cricket. OK, so Vianne and I will demonstrate. This is a joke. Oh, <laughs> my <laughs> God. <laughs> Didn't even hesitate. <laughs> this can't be real. <laughs> OK. Roll some shit about your mouth and spit. They need board games here. Or a pack of cards, top trumps, uno, something to make that game a dead thing. It's going to be the best of three. How about oh. we make it best to go fuck yourself? I'm doing this once <laughs> and that's it. Oh, that's a bit rude, isn't it? Oh, what's that All on right. It? I don't like cinnamon. What's, what's that? that? Is, there some, <laughs> is there something dirty on the shit you're worried about? <laughs> What are you talking about? It's shit, mate. Anything that's on it is better than what it is. <laughs> You're right! Imagine a Malteser that tasted of shit covered in mud and then gobbing it. It's such a disgusting thing to do. Oh, oh, I'm on definitely the worst one, isn't it? <laughs> Horrible. Three! Oh, three. Oh. three. Oh. <laughs> no, I can't. I've got to... You're supposed to roll it around in your mouth. <laughs> what happens as you do that, as you roll it around in your mouth, is a thin coating of that shit completely covers the inside of your mouth. Wait. That Three. was worse, mate. I'm was... <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, that wasn't my attempt. That wasn't my attempt. Here's another one. Here's another one, don't worry. It's, it's just, do you know what happened? Just, <laughs> I just suddenly remembered what I had in my mouth. <laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> oh! Wow. Come on! Yes, yes, mate. Yeah, good job. Yes, good job. mate. I've tried my best. No. Uh, that's the end of your initiation. Congratulations. <sighs> Thank you're all you. Pushed out. Well done, mate. I think you're, you're the winner there. I don't think either of <laughs> us are the winner here, mate. <laughs>
It's fair to say our little trip into the South African wilderness hadn't exactly been to everyone's taste. But it had certainly been better than Plan A. I know we should be the cricket, but it's worth sacrificing the day for this, isn't it? I've got to tell you, as Beckett diversions go, this is one of your best ones. Best BD of all time? Might be. Bear in mind, it's not a high bar. And now that we'd been initiated as honorary safari rangers, head vet William Foles had a special job for us. OK, so the plan is to do a management procedure on a female white rhino. Okay. Uh, she hasn't conceived, uh, so we just want to make sure that that is the case. OK, so how would you find out if she's pregnant? We're going to scan her. That's the sort of the 100% way of doing it. Uh, yeah. if, we, if she's positive, she's definitely pregnant. OK. It's a rectal scan, mm. uh, but in order to get the probe in, we've got to clear out her rectum with all that digested grass. Yeah. Um, so what I need you to do is just to help me clear out the rectum. There's a lot of grass there. They eat an uh, okay. uh, enormous amount of food. It sounds like you're saying that we're going to clear out the rectum. Yeah, that's exactly what you're going to be doing. Rectum's the arse, isn't it? Yes. Clearly, we'd become the go-to guys for fecal-related challenges. But before we could get stuck into the task at hand, we had to locate the rhino. Which meant as William took to the air... The signal is in that direction, you're flying now. We followed in hot pursuit from the ground. Rob, I'm going to tell you this now. Mate, I'm genuinely buzzing. We're tracking a rider. You see the chopper? The chopper. There's an info on rhinos, if I have a look. Thank you, mate, I'm all right. I don't know if it's any rhino, I'm seeing a bell end. What's that? Huh? Nothing. Not here, Robert. A good signal. William had spotted our rhino, but there was a problem. Oh, yeah. There were two of them. So what will you do with the other rhino? What happens there? We do one each. We've got one each. <laughs> one each, right? OK, I won't be doing that after, as I tell you that. Oh. Now in our sights, William would need to put the two-ton animal to sleep. Yeah, it looks good. You can dart when you're ready. Yeah, yeah. And surprisingly, it wasn't by watching an hour of cricket, but a jumbo-sized tranquilizer to the arse. As soon as the rhino goes down, we move in. Oh, my God. And you grease up your arm. With the arse dart taking just minutes to kick in, the team swings into action. But with the danger of the other rhino charging in at any moment, the helicopter heads back into the sky to herd any threats away from the team. I'm a bit concerned about what we've got to do, though. Because we, we got a two-minute briefing, but I don't know if that's long enough. I'd, I'd, I'd argue that the hand up the arse stuff should have been a bit more detailed before it was darted. I mean, I suppose, what can you say? Put it out there, scoop it out? Yeah. So with one rhino on the run and another out for the count... Guys, I'm going rectal. And because he'd lost the spitting challenge, Rob was going in first. If you give me your hand out... As much lube as possible. Happy to do anything for the lady. Oh, <laughs> All right, in you go. Good luck, Bob. OK, I'm a bit too eager there, aren't I? So just do like that. Yep, yep. And you'll feel the difference between squishy membranes oh, and grass. I don't like it, mate. Still glad we're missing the cricket, you prick. Rob was first up. I hoped he was only up. Oh. There we go. Well done. First one. Next. <sighs> Next. You have you're a not, go. You're not done. Where's your glove? I you're can't do it. I don't, don't want to go back in. I don't want to go back in. Rob lost his temper. I'm, I'm like, <laughs> do you want to get your glove on? Why is he not got a glove on? Someone get him a glove. I think we ran out of gloves, eh? Get him a glove or we're falling out. There's no way we come this far for any one of us to go up that rhino. Okay. There you go, boy. There you go. Bit of lube. Come on. Okay. Straight in. So you'll feel the wet, moist membranes, and then just keep going until you feel the grass balls. I have to get really in it. <laughs> I think it's coming out of her mouth, mate. You might want your knees off. The inside of a rhino's ass is is distinctly unpleasant, and that's even before we talk about the smell. <laughs> My arm, I think, for the next six to eight months, is going to smell like the inside of that rhino. So having got closer to a rhino than we'd ever expected to, it was time for head vet William... You've gone there, mate, ain't you? Fully in. ..to make his assessment. 
No. Not pregnant. Not pregnant. Pregnant. Okay. So there's a there's a slight chance that uh, that uterus is just still out of my reach. I don't think you could have given any more there, mate. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to see if we can pick it up on the blood test. Okay. So now we're waiting on the blood tests to see if uh, she was pregnant. Some would argue just do the blood tests, but, you know. I think there's a strong argument for that. <laughs> oh, this is insane. What's going on? I thought I lost my phone. We left it up there. Like I'd go back in. <laughs> Ring it. That was unbelievable. I mean, rhino shit aside, that was truly amazing. Missing the cricket to do something like this was actually pretty special. But I am now itching to get back. Rob and I are in South Africa, taking on the world of international cricket. Think I could go pro? No. OK. The plan was to immerse ourselves in all things bat and ball and find out why it's one of the world's most popular sports. Well, that was my plan anyway. Oh, wow! But as England batted it out against South Africa on the first day of the second test... Wow, wow, wow! What a response. We've been facing a test of our own on safari, where we got up close and personal with one of the park's residents. Just keep going until you feel the grass balls. Oh, God. The following morning, still smelling of rhino, we were back in Cape Town. But instead of taking us to the cricket for the start of day two, Rob was taking us up Table Mountain. <sighs> Mate. Uh, I, I... Why can't we just go to the cricket? And enjoy it. If Rob's plan was to keep me as far away from the cricket as much as possible, it was working. And as we headed up the mountain for my next cultural diversion, I sensed things had got a little awkward between me and Romesh. So I thought it best to stay off the subject of cricket. So, have you ever done back, sack and crack? No. But, but I have... There's a butt coming, isn't there? <laughs> I have shaved my balls completely hairless before. I always aim to do that, but it's very hard to do that without snagging. Electric razor or big? No, just a bit. Oh. So what, you, what, you stretching it out? Yeah, of course you are. <laughs> You're not just trying to get in the nooks and crannies. <laughs> How thick is your pubic hair? Not very thick, and they're blonde. Yeah, okay. Quite nice. I keep saying things I regret instantly. <laughs> <laughs> Back at Newlands, day two was well underway. Here we go, Anderson's a hell yep. He's away with a ball. With South Africa chasing 269, Elber and Marlon were leading the charge. Yes, for sure. But England had other ideas. As they took four wickets in the morning session... There's an edge, and what a good catch that is! And, while the Barmy Army celebrated with a few beers... We'd arrived at the Groot Constantia Vineyard, nestled on the side of Table Mountain, where I had lined up a tour. You can't come to South Africa and not come to one of the vineyards, but it's beautiful, you see the mountain in the background. This is what all the Barmy Army will be doing, you know, if they're not already doing it at the match. Rob Beckett seems to have turned the cricket into some sort of 1830s cruise. Hello, I'm Buller. Nice to meet you. And yes, it does feel like two blokes on the saddest stag do of all time. So you guys are wine connoisseurs, you know a lot about wine? I'm Have a you? fan of a Chilean Merlot. You got any of that? Um, <laughs> yeah, we're about no. 10,000 kilometres up, oh, but, right. uh, but we have, uh, yeah, we have some decent Sounds Merlot. similar. Should we pour our guests a glass of What is that? What's the machete for? <laughs> That's just to take the top remember of that, the bubbles. Remember that comment about Chilean Merlot? <laughs> <laughs> I'm <laughs> regretting that. Let's just see, <laughs> right, just see if we can do it without a seam. It's like a hen that's got out of hand. Oh, off it goes! <laughs> 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 I think if you're doing a demonstration on camera 
for the benefit of two visitors. Have a practice. I'm no expert, oh, but I think, that, I think that went brilliantly. <laughs> she did not look like she had half a scooby about to do that. So after that's intro, uh, should we go and taste some wine? Well, absolutely, yeah. Let's do it. Can we take these Enjoy with yourselves, us? guys. Have yeah. fun. Yeah. Well, come see you in casualty, all right? Yes, OK, please do. Bye. Whilst Karen received the lesson in how to open a bottle, we headed up the hill for a lesson in wine tasting where head grower Beulah Gerber had laid on some of the estate's best vino. These are all the wines on the estate. I'm going to give you four glasses of wine and yeah. you like to smell and guess which ones they are. Okay. okay. Well, the danger here is don't get too pissed. So I'm going to try and be measured, try and be calm and approach it sensibly and gently taste the wine. Oh. oh, that wasn't. No, it's fantastic. That's I mean, not... you enjoyed. You like. You like the Sauvignon. I mean, I liked it, that's but fantastic. I didn't. I didn't know. That, sorry, I didn't know the vibe. I thought it was. No, I, I'll be honest with you. That's that's sort of what I expected you to do. <laughs> sorry, I didn't. Because uh, do you see the complete lack of surprise on my face? <laughs> yeah, I didn't know. When I, I saw you next. I thought that's what we were doing. Okay, sorry. Well, I wish I could tell you that I was surprised by how the wine tasting went down, but it went exactly as expected. What are you smelling? Flowery. It's floral. Flowery, yeah. Floral. Very yep. I am really smelling red wine a lot as well. <laughs> that's a good. That's good. <laughs> well, that's very good. Kept necking the wine. Oh, that one's lively. Uh, very, very mature. Good. Oh, that's that's a strong that peppery. One. Gave no thought towards actually tasting the wine and thinking about what it was about. Salt. Nah. <laughs> He couldn't even keep track of the four glasses we had in play. It's peppery, isn't it? No, that was the last one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's one number three. OK. To South Africa. Yeah. <laughs> Are you taking this seriously, Rob? Mm. You've nicked it again? Yeah, I'm tasting it, mate. <laughs> Wood. It's got the old Joker smile going on as well now. <laughs> <laughs> it descended into anarchy with Rob. Very, very quickly. Let's, uh, OK, let's move along. <laughs> Rob, what are you doing? What? He said, take a taste oh. of each so we can compare them afterwards. Yeah. You've drunk them all. <laughs> Haven't I? <laughs> Look at your teeth. You're not my mother-in-law. The problem about alcohol is it's lovely. When do we have a cracker? What are the crackers for? Yeah, so we uh, just sort of clear your palate. Well, I beg your pardon. What? <laughs> oh, my God. That was awful. <laughs> <laughs> I've got. I've got. Get off me! <laughs> Stop talking! <laughs> Finish the cracker! <laughs> so many people have been the guy. Can I give you a. Rob, stop. What? Just stop. <laughs> no, because you struggle to eat a cracker. Mm. Come here. Neck. Seven different wines. And it's the most alive I've felt in years. Really? No, no, don't, don't give him more, Bella. Okay. Um, yeah, a little bit of the one guy, um, I'll be honest with you, I'm absolutely shit faced. Anyway, thank you, Bella. Absolute pleasure. <laughs> Cheers, mate. <laughs> and so our adventure into South African wine culture was over. And I, for one, had possibly enjoyed it more than I intended to. What did I learn about wine? Don't neck them all. It's not a downing drink. We have slightly different agendas. I really am into trying to find out about, the, not find out about the cricket, but get, get involved, find out what it is about cricket that makes people so passionate about it. Rob is very much into the extracurricular activities. You've got to experience the culture. The cricket is about more than the cricket. It's about the experience of a country. We're in South Africa, we're in Cape Town. You've got to come and taste the wine, and we've done it. Great day. I love cricket. Thanks for a lovely day. It's been good, isn't it? It's been great. It's lovely. Can yeah, we actually yeah. engage in some cricket tomorrow? Not properly. Do you like the straight lines of a vineyard? Christ. Don't you? Yeah. It's like noughts and crosses before it starts. Let's be quiet for a bit, shall we? Yeah. As we waited for a taxi home, I reflected on a great day out and an incredible effort by England. Oh, that's a beauty. While we were getting drunk, Jimmy Anderson took three wickets, oh, which turned the game around the England in a strong position. and brought us right back into contention. Perfect end to the day. We'd been in South Africa for four days, and we were finally going to see some cricket. But as we began to make our way across Cape Town, things didn't get off to the best of starts. So it's to see a London bus, yeah? No, it's fucking lost, isn't it? Right, is he going to let me out? 
Oh no. And here we have. It's not Levy, I can't get it into reverse. <laughs> I can't. Why would it get into reverse? Why wanna get into reverse, Romesh? I don't know, hold on, hold on. That's it. There you go. It's not as easy as it should be. That could be really bad. So I wanted to let that marinate a little bit longer there. Like <gasps> wow! <laughs> it's okay. That was very warm in here. <laughs> Back on the move, we headed to Newlands Cricket Ground where day three of the second test was about to begin. Yesterday, our bowlers had torn through the South African batting order. And by the close of play, they only had two wickets left standing. Perfect thing for England. The crowd has been fantastic. They've got behind him. They've been singing the songs. The support's been good. And they've put themselves in a very, very strong position in this test match. This is it. Here we go. I know you've got not a big interest, but you're sort of slightly I mean, buzzing. I'm excited about the weather. It feels yeah. like we're going to a festival with yeah. a massive mountain. Yeah, and the cricket. I'm excited. This is pretty amazing, mate. Today, I was looking to see South Africa's wickets fall fast, so we could watch some fine England batting. Whenever I go for a turnstile, I get overexcited. But I was also looking to see how long Rob would stay focused on the slow burn nature of Test cricket. Rob has got very short attention span. He is... Like a kid that's eating seven packers of Haribo. This is all right, isn't it? <laughs> Not bad, is it? I like it. Uh, as days at work go. The idea of him sitting here for days at a time, watching a game, without becoming so annoying that I want to punch his face in, very unlikely. As the match got underway, Jimmy Anderson set England off to a dream start, taking a wicket with his very first ball. Just the start that England would have wanted. Come on, England! A fantastic moment, which seemed to ignite Rob's interest in the sport. Well, sort of. Why don't they have different colour kits? It's always white, isn't it? Because it's hard to know who's who, isn't it? Well, we're well, not really two no, of them got back to the other side. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> that is, that's something I'm glad you said quietly as you did. Do you know the types of bowling? Um, oh, fast and slow. Nearly caught it. So what do you actually know? Does the uh, is it is it over six balls? Yes, it is. Yeah. Here so we go. go. I think we should keep all these questions quiet. It's a bit like right. It's a bit like Australia, isn't it, South Africa? Don't you think? In what way? Cricket. <laughs> so do you know what the what Duckworth Lewis is? Who? Duckworth Lewis. Duckworth Lewis. Yeah. It sounds like a number in bingo, isn't it? Duckworth Lewis, 35. Yeah. <laughs> ah, yeah. Been waiting on a Duckworth Lewis for 100 quid. Duckworth Lewis is if rain stops play, yeah. they calculate. There's a, it's a method to calculate. Oh, that sink cost tan. Yeah. Yes, I guess like so, yeah. Well, uh, trigonometry, yeah. Yeah. Sort so, of getting maths and cricket wrong now, but yeah. You love this, is great for you, isn't it? <laughs> you are, this must... Oh, this plays into the Asian This sounds. is the most Asian you've ever been. <laughs> Cricket yeah. and maths, yeah. it's unbelievable. All I need to do is set up some IT support yeah. on my way. So with Rob's help, I'd nailed the basics of cricket. Come on! And with the men in white bowling out the other men in white, I think it was England's sir to try and hit the red ball. But that didn't seem to go too well. Edge and gone. And then something genuinely interested happened. Oh, we're on the big screen, Rob. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Rob and Ramesh are in the house, enjoying themselves by the look of it today. Oh, there he goes. Well, oh, important, I guess, to stay hydrated. <laughs> <laughs> it was at exactly this point, Rob's interest in our mellow morning began to wait, and he felt we should liven it up a bit. I'm getting into the vibe, however, it does feel like that section is like the hardcore. This, That's the Barney Army. This is the cool class for that. This is a bit cool. Yeah. We've sampled this. Prawn sandwich brigade. Yeah, let's go get in amongst it. Get in amongst them. As he owed me a pint, who was I to stop him? The Barmy Army have been England's globe-trotting 12th man for over 25 years, turning up in their thousands to support the team through thick and thin. They also enjoy staying well hydrated, 
so it was understandable why Rob was keen to hang out with them. Thankfully, the army's Chris Millard was on hand to draft us in. How you doing, Rob? How you doing? Hey, Rob. Rob, you're back. Chris, you're in the army now. You gotta wear one of these. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Wear it proud, yeah. Oh, thank you. There you go. So this is it. We just get the gear straight away. We're in the army. We're in the army right. now, yeah. Welcome. Yeah. Yeah. I'm in the army. <laughs> I was feeling a bit self-conscious in my ill-fitting uniform, but Robert settled right in. Can I have a go on the trumpet? Yes. How do you do it? Basically, you've got to put your lips together. Hold it. Uh, left, right. you, left, hand, left hand around the middle. Uh, left hand like that. So right. Grip it around the middle. <laughs> That's the first go, that's not bad at all. That's good. Sacked in the morning, sacked in the morning, you're getting sacked in the morning. Sacked in the morning. I was out of puff, and as there was very little happening on the field, I thought Rom should have a go at entertaining our new friends. Yeah. Do you know what, guys? I, 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 did everyone see me down a pint on the big screen? Yeah. Has anyone seen Romesh do it? No. Oh. Actually, guys, it's Shall a we game. see Romesh do it? Yeah. Actually, guys, it's a game. Yeah, i And then, like an idiot, like a mug, like an easily manipulated chump, I allowed myself to fall into the trap of down in a pint like a prick in, in, in front of the Barmy Army. Daddy one, daddy one. Daddy one, daddy one, daddy one. Daddy one, daddy one, daddy one. Oh. Oh. Yeah. It's not me. I allowed myself to be pressured. He went, chug it, and I'll go, go, Rogan, I forgot you fat rangers. And then I downed it. <laughs> <laughs> Whilst I was trying to hold it down, the Barmy Army was turning it up, and the whole stand was suddenly buzzing. We are the Army! We are the Army! The Barmy, Barmy Army! The Barmy, Barmy Army! We do root! support I found my cricket mojo but all that clapping was beginning to take its toll <laughs> and so before we had our Barmy Army memberships revoked we snuck off for a breather well, that's pretty mad wasn't it I love cricket I feel like I've been indoctrinated I've got to say, I love the Barmy Army. They're great. I love them for about half an hour. <laughs> yeah. That's the yeah. first time in my life that I've gone... Da, 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 da. And, and, That's the first time I've ever done that. And felt included in and part and of it. Normally, when I hear that, I say to my family, let's run the opposite way. I'll be yeah. honest with you. But, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm buzzing. I enjoyed that. I yeah, feel like good. I look like I've won a competition. You look like Cypress Hill if they got involved with Tommy Robinson. Beer? You're round, right? Rom and I are in Cape Town watching England take on South Africa. Come on! Yeah! Yesterday we sat through the third day of the test by staying well hydrated and hanging out with the Barmy Army. England were in a strong position, but after losing two wickets late in the day, gone! The hosts had been offered a glimmer of hope. Now we were en route to day four, but the game itself was at the back of my mind because today we'd be going head to head in a catching challenge in front of the Barmy Army. And in preparation for this public humiliation, we'd received nearly a full hour of training with England legend Kevin Peterson. Right proven I was competent at best. And Rob, well, Rob. 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 Oh, I don't like Rob it. Was Rob. I don't like it. NASA Hussain yeah. is going to be hitting it up in the air, okay? Right. And then we've got to catch, we get three attempts. 
What do you want to see if it's going to happen? Do you think you're going to win or I'm going to win? I th- honestly. Honestly? Honestly, banter aside. Banter, banter aside, we drop all three. Each of us. Yeah, I think that's my Six club. balls dropped. To booze and jeers from a drunk barmy army. What did you say? Booze and jeers. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> booze and jeers. Booze and jeers. <laughs> booze and jeers. That's it. Why is that funny? <laughs> booze and jeers. <laughs> Sorry, I just I want... Booze and jeers. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah. When we arrived at the ground, there was no time to make ourselves look presentable as we had to appear live on South African TV to hear some words of encouragement from our no-nonsense mentor. This is KP's advice to you. You've got to keep your eyes on the ball, whether you're bowling, batting or catching. Your eyes are the most important part about going about in our wonderful job. Do you give Rob and Ramesh any fire? Uh, yes, I do. I do. I want to. I'm a positive dude. I don't want to just stand here and say they've got absolutely no chance. You put your mind to something, you can do anything. So 100%, I'm giving them every single chance uh, to make sure that they do it. Don't let me down. Boys, don't oh, let them down. I've them got to be honest with you, I don't put a lot of stock in that because but, when he said to him, how do you feel? And he said, I'm a, he didn't say I'm positive about their chances and I'm generally a positive guy. Yeah. That's basically what he's saying is I try and look at the bright side of everything. Yeah. And so, yeah, hopefully they'll do it. I mean, so obviously he does know you. Also, it's not he a said big vote of confidence. Eyes are key. Is are all over the place. Yeah, Mine mean, are going. It's my over. mum's had two detached retinas. That's my weak point. <laughs> I'll be yeah. blind before I'm dead. That's the, the, I'm the worst thing he could have said was it's all about the eyes. <laughs> that, that, that's literally <laughs> yeah. the worst thing he could have said for me. If he said, you know, yeah, that's it. If he said, yeah. ideally, if you're a bit overweight yeah. and happy, yeah. I'd be feeling positive. Got, it, I'd have loved it if he'd he said, if, you, if, you've got, if you've got poor stamina <laughs> and partially sighted, you're going to have an absolute blinder on yeah. this, literally. <laughs> yeah. We love it. KP's words have provided very little comfort, and neither did the England kits he'd arranged for us to wear for the challenge. <laughs> oh, he's not forgiving, is it? It's top sky. <laughs> It's hard to pull off a cream polo shirt with a bank I've got, logo. I tell you, I've got a lot more respect for them as athletes now. <laughs> how, do you, how can you wear this? This is going to be awful. Shoes. You got sunglasses? Yeah, I've got sunglasses, yeah. Polarised. I feel like quite cool now I've got these on, though. I think it's helped. What do you think? Sun cream we need. Do you need sun cream? The last time you said no was in Jamaica and you burnt your head. I don't care about burning my head, mate. <laughs> We're about to go out there and like... The problem is, this isn't just for our show. This is being broadcast live on Sky on all, like, the South African sports. <laughs> Why's that happening? I think it might be the spikes, but I'm just having a... <laughs> I, don't think we put, we should... I don't think they're designed for kitchen floors. <laughs> that is Vincent. Don't stand up. <laughs> That's insane. No, it is. No, it's all right. We should get used to it. Right. Big. Um, do you want some sun cream? No. You might... What are you doing? What? Don't want to get burnt. Yeah. I put a bit... I looked like I've been paintball. <laughs> I think I've done... I should have done it a bit neater. It's in my eyebrow. I don't need it in my eyebrow, do I? There you go. That's no, that's it. great, Rob. And then... I've, do you want a bit? No. Just on the end of the nose. I've got on, then. A bit there. On your forehead? Over there. Oh no, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot, mate. Go out of the old door. I head. didn't think. What? what? I didn't think of my mum. Unbelievable. No context, Rob Beckett. Just now he's Asian. He's put a dot on his forehead. I didn't think about what I was doing. I just, Unbelievable. I just did it because then as soon as I did it, I knew I shouldn't have. That was your instinct. No, as a friend putting sun cream Who on. Who put sun cream on like that? <laughs> Nobody. I've never done it before. Traditional start, dot on the forehead. Right, ready? OK, I've got the dot, just need to find a sari, and then we're ready for the challenge. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, it was our turn to face the crowd. And as it was made up of our friends from the Barmy Army, we were guaranteed some support. Come on, Ramesh. Full kit wankers. Or maybe not. Full kit wankers, yeah. Petrified. Didn't catch one of them in training. 10,000 people screaming, Beck at your shit. Already, I've not tried to catch one yet. I've sort of been saying to Rob, oh, we just got to stick together. I don't give a shit about Rob. You haven't got, you haven't got to be the fastest gazelle, you've just got to be faster than the slowest. 
And in my mind, Rob's the slowest gazelle, and I can't wait to cripple him while we're out there. They talk about, can they do it at this level? I can't do it in training. So what am I going to do? Worst case scenario is, ultimate humiliation, fractured skull. Second, ultimate humiliation, broken fingers. Yeah. Rob has got much bigger teeth. He's got a lot more to lose than I have, do you know what I mean? If he gets his teeth smashed in, it's a bonus for the ivory trade. The Barmy Army was ready and waiting, so we made our way over to meet England legend Nasser Hussain and the Sky Sports TV crew for another light-hearted grilling. Who are you and what are you doing here? Um, I'm Rob Beckett. This is Ramesh Ranganathan. Yes, and I had no idea that these tops were this unforgiving on the nipples. <laughs> <laughs> this is ridiculous. That is, you, <laughs> it's like, wasn't suck strong. it in a little bit, come on. <laughs> <laughs> you, you need to wear a girder or oh, something awful. like that. This is so bad. It's, it's not, giving me a newfound respect for the athleticism of the game. It's not, a, it's not a flattering outfit, is it? We're going to do some catching, because if you yeah. do get the cricket bug, you will catch more than you will bat or bowl. It's just the okay. nature of the game. Right. Okay. What are you most worried about? All right, well, in the training so far, I see it coming down panic and run away. That's my current technique. Um, you've been catching some, so I, I, my, I'm, I'm, I've lost it in the edge, basically. My main issue is I have absolutely no depth perception whatsoever. Yeah. So I can see there is a ball. Beyond that, I've got no information. So we Could have, have former England captain Nasser Hussain who's going to hit some high catches for okay. you. OK. What, what tips would you give him? If I said soft hands to you... What would yeah. that mean? So that's bring them, bring them in. Yeah. You move so like them. if you're catching an egg, give with yeah. the egg. Give Otherwise, the egg. the egg will splatter. Okay. And you're, you say you've no depth perception. This is your computer, your brain and your eyes. Okay. If that's always moving around, you won't pick up the ball. So keep your head still yep. as possible. Good luck, guys. OK, thank, thank you. you very much. And so with still heads and soft hands, we moved into position for the challenge. Go for it. To make matters worse, KP would be commentating over our attempts which wasn't helping the nerves. So welcome to the beautiful Newlands Cricket Ground for this very special catching challenge. They're each going to get three attempts to catch the ball hit by my old mate, Nasser Hussain. We're going to go and do it in front of your newfound friends. In front of the Barbie Army, brilliant. Do you think they've got your back? No, no. no. They are desperate for us to fail. The I've already had abuse. Is, but you've been in there drinking with them, and you're telling me you haven't Yeah, I know. That might... Hi, guys. It's a bit of support. When I trained these boys earlier in the week, Ramesh showed a bit of promise, so I'm actually expecting big, big things from him. Ready? Hussain to Ramesh. Here we go. He's missed it. <laughs> oh, he should have done better than that. The balmy army are not impressed with that at all. Ready? Oh, oh no. Rob Beckett. Did your heart go? Yeah, but I thought I had it. I did have it, but... <laughs> Didn't have it, you dropped it. Uh, oh, well, it's still nil-nil. What's going on here? <laughs> hang on, hang on, we've got to change a tactic. I've got, I've got, glasses. yeah, I've got new glasses. I think does that, this, right. that's what's been letting me down. So you, so you wear glasses, I've but really you'd only had sunglasses yeah, on. Yeah, I only had sunglasses on, but now you're about well, to see, you're about to see the real rubbish. Here we go again. Oh, no, Catching rubbish. The glasses have made absolutely no difference. <laughs> he knows he should have caught that. Right. Hands together. Right. That was so embarrassing. Second attempt for Rob. He's under it. Another drop ball, another one. He should have had that and he knows it. <laughs> what on earth is he doing? Final ball for Ramesh. Here it comes, here it comes. Oh, sorry, sorry about that. I apologize. Come on, Ramesh. Ramesh! Oh, dear. Right, come on, one more, one more. Pathetic. Come on, one more, you've got to catch one. one. Final ball for Rob. Catch it's quick, one, it's one. up there. He's yeah! got it, he's got it, he does. Great catch, the Barmy Army are loving it. Rubbish can only watch in disbelief. Rob's got it. Rob your biscuit, Rob your beauty. He's down in a pint, I cannot tell you how happy he is. Back to the proper cricket this when we a, come back. This has been a joke. Against the odds, I'd won. And I couldn't wait to rub it in. Best challenge you've ever done, I reckon. That was a joke. The feeling when I caught that ball, 
It's and not then celebrated with the Balmy Army. Yeah, but you're not a winner. Sometimes you win, sometimes I win. No, 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 but the yeah. thing is... No, but the Come thing on, is... No, but I'm no. still talking. OK, go on. Ah, uh, yes. Surprise, surprise, by the way. I did drop them all in training, but I did it when it mattered. When the pressure was on, I dealt with it. Rob, there's no pressure. The ball's literally passed to you. You lost when they said, full kit wanker. Your head went. No, that's, that's got nothing and then you panicked. Do you know when you panicked? Oh, I've got to change my glasses. That's it, mate. Yeah, so I can see properly. Oh, sorry that I want full vision for the challenge. Oh, what, so you can see the sun perfectly? That's the point of sunglasses. Rob, Rob, the ball was passed here. No it way. was passed here. It's not a victory. No. And also, by the way, by the way rather, the rather, rather, than, rather than acknowledging that, yeah. rather than going, OK, yeah. he made it a bit easy for me, yeah. I won, but OK, you ran over yeah. to the Barmy Army yeah. and down the point like it was the most difficult thing that anyone's ever done. Bottom line is, I caught one, you didn't. Rob, I'm not... I'm, no, it's victory, not what, no. victory in South Africa. I'm not accepting that. For as, RB. I'm not accepting that. As you a played victory. for your school, had trials for your county. Never, I never, not, I never, I never had trials for my That was county. my first game of cricket. Oh, okay. On my last go, I caught it. You dropped all of yours. That's, do you know what's with do, different glasses? Do you, know on. do you know what's upsetting? It's not that you caught it. Okay. Mm. It's a bit racist. <laughs> it's, it's not. It's not. <laughs> it's not that, that, it's right? that you caught it. It's not that you caught it. Oh, sharks have got the ump. I tell you what's bad. We click this together. You putting a dot on my head and then doing that to me. Yeah. See how that looks. Exactly. Listen, let me yeah. tell you something, right? It wasn't the fact that you caught the ball, that's fine. Yeah. So it's the fact that you went over and celebrated yeah. and now you're living it up okay, and making different. out like you that's achieved different. a big that's thing. Different. You're that's out of order. That's you're right? out of order. Rob, you know you're out of order. No, no, you like... know you're out of order. <laughs> so, different thing. I won. You didn't win. Shh. You didn't. Shh. You did not win. Show my hand. But no, you know because no, I don't want to shake your hand. Zoom up on the handshake. Don't say something like unity or something like that. Hope. Come here. Bring it in. Bring it in. I'm not shaking you out for hope. <laughs> Come on. No, you didn't win that. Goodbye. <laughs> I've tried. What more can I do? The bottom of the table mountain. The victorious OK, bring hand. it to a close, mate. Come on. The victorious hand. Rom and I are in South Africa getting our heads around the world of international cricket. Sadly for Romish, I'd managed to win the catching challenge. Catch one, catch one. Yeah! And after witnessing my skills, we've been invited into Talk Sport Radio's commentary box. But what a wonderful start from England. To wow the nation with my knowledge of the game, alongside cricket legend Darren Goff and commentator Neil Manthorpe. End of the over. All right, it's time to introduce our... Very, very special guests. Ramesh Ranganathan and Rob Beckett are here in South Africa doing a travelogue, I, I think it's fair to say. You're just gonna, you're, you're following the tour. Yeah, we're doing a documentary about cricket. I don't know anything. Ramesh is a fan, and we're trying to discover more about it since the World Cup win and stuff like that. And Ben Stokes is, you know, he's becoming a bit of a national treasure. Um, we're exploring the world of cricket, and it's incredible. What a place to start in South Africa. It's amazing, isn't it, Ron? Yeah, that was a great intro, Ron. Thanks, mate. I was Excellent surprised work. myself. Yeah, that's what we're doing. I'll tell you what happened was when I picked the headphones Right, you've got to shut up now. Oh, OK. Here's... Uh, cool. Right, banner, Rubbish. banner back on. We're back in. OK. Um. <laughs> no, you need to let me describe the delivery. Sorry, I'm sorry, sorry. sorry, sorry. OK. Sorry. It's hard doing the commentary because you're about to start a story and then you get cut off because he needs to tell you they're bowling. So it's not a great... I wouldn't go on a first date with someone in a commentary booth because you try and get to a story, you get cut off by cricket. You've got to be quiet when the ball is bowled. Here's Sir Maharaj. Oh. Nudged away out on the leg side past square leg for a single down towards long leg. Total move to 274 for four. Uh, no, talk. That was a, a lovely little nudge, wasn't it, Rob? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, it was. It was yeah. Uh, Pressure's on, though, isn't it? This, I'm, I'm, I'm constantly trying to think of what to say. Pressure's and on who, where Rob? The ball is. Who's the pressure on? Yeah, you said the pressure's on. On uh, you? Me, me no, he's talking about himself, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, as I usual. Mean, He's got no interest in the actual <laughs> game. What's happening? Right. There? Here's Maharaj again. Reverse oh! sweep. What a brilliant shot. So, in a moment, towards the end of the stint, you're going to have an over each. There are a couple of golden rules you need to know. So okay. You've got to be the straight guy when you're the commentator. Yep. As the summariser, Goffy, he's, he's the colour man. Which one of us two do you think should be the colour man? <laughs> no, ne neither of you. You're both okay. going to play the straight I'm guy. A bit, I'm a bit pink from the sun. That's the whole fair. point. You can't yeah. get me. I'm, I, I live in South Africa. You're not yeah. going to get me on the colour thing. Yeah. No, I, wasn't, I wasn't trying to, no. <laughs> I would never dream of doing that. Right, right, the up, the comments, man. Here's Maharaj once again. Last ball of the over. Outside leg stump hits the batsman on the pad. Offers no shot. Yeah. 277 for four. Before we could have a go at actually commentating, Neil and Darren showed us how it was done. He's now on the verge, Goffy. He's 99. Oh, and the worst thing, uh, nightmare for him, he's on 99, the dreaded 99, and he's got to wait 
and he's watching his partner, Ben Stokes, at the other end. As Sibley focused on making his maiden century, the tension in the game was building. Sibley in, pads this one away outside. And unbeknown to us, our contribution live on air was already creating a bit of a stir on social media. The leg stuck. You know, Rob, of course, why he's kicking the ball away there, not, not hitting it with his He's back. not very, very good? He's no, very no, good. no, it's... 99. All oh, right, sorry. Because I'll go for the bat, personally, but each to their own. Here's Maharaj once again, down the leg side once more. Pitching outside leg stump, Rob, so he can't okay. be LBW. Leg before wicket? Yes. Thank you. It's excellent. Try it. Try it. Really good, Rob. The big question, he's got the 99, will he get the flake? You know? <laughs> yeah? Yeah, the flake's to, 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 to follow. What do you think? That, that's, yeah, that's, I, I I'm, not, I'm not a fan of that, Rob. <laughs> yeah, could, less of them, OK, it's quite a big moment. And then, before Rom could deliver another hilarious ice cream-based joke zinger, Sibley shut him up. Here's uh, Maharaj once again. Sweet oh. shot from Dom Sibley. Yes. He's got his hundred. Sibley sweeps Maharaj for four behind square leg, and in just his seventh innings for England, he's reached the hundred. Well done, Dom Sibley. What an epic! Two hundred and eighty-nine for four. Just a reminder that uh, we have Ramos Ranganathan and Rob Beckett in the commentary box with us, and one of them is going to uh, commentate the next over. If do you want to do ball by ball and I go for the colour? No, 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 no neither no. of us are doing the colour. Oh, We're right, both okay. doing ball by ball. Rob, right. pay attention. Sorry. He's been very clear about that, Rob. There's so much going on. So who is it, Ramos? Is it you uh, or is what, it Rob? What would you want to do? What, I, don't, I don't mind going. OK, go on. Is it Rabada? Good luck. Good luck. Cajiso Rabada. I'll just go with Rabada, I'd say, at this point. I don't want to get um, cocky. So he's... Uh, He's, he's, having a, he's having a think about it, They're getting into position. There are a number of players across the field in different places, and uh, he bowls a very fast one at someone, and, yeah, he connects, and that's a single. Solid, solid, solid bat there. And, Darren, what do you think of that? Yeah, excellent shot there. Rabada just trying to ball that tight off stump line yeah. to Ben Stokes. Ben Stokes, surprisingly, now is pushing just one. I mean, after playing some unbelievable, extravagant shots so far this morning, he just decided to come one and give Dom Sibley the strike again. OK, so Rabada coming in for his second bowl of the over. Another fast one. True to form. Uh, he just jumps out of the way of that one, caught by number 12 <laughs> with a little green cap on. <laughs> And uh, expect a Rabada to go again. <laughs> Absolutely. Say as you see it. I think that's fantastic. I mean, what else do you want from it at this stage, Goffey? Well, I have a modicum of respect for the game, whereas Rob has none. So what he had was an ability to just free-flowingly chat shit ad infinitum. And, and it didn't matter that he had absolutely zero clue what was going on. He didn't care. Listen, it You're here for the info. I'm, I'm just describing <laughs> what's happening. Well, Rob, there is that crack outside off stump, which I think... Yeah, I did notice there. that, yeah. <laughs> anyway, third big fast one coming at him. Let's see what happens. Oh, yeah, uh, again, I don't know what happened there, but someone's caught it. Goffey. So what happened there is that line again just outside off stump. Yeah. Yeah. The crack starting to open up with the sun beating down onto the pitch again. That's two balls in a row. As Darren tried to salvage the wreckage that was Rob's commentary, it was time to find out if I could do any better. So Rabada coming in for his next one. Sibley plays it away to his left there fairly safely. Gets a single. Beautiful work from him. Whoa, hang on a minute here. Do I need to back that up? Absolutely spot on. Fantastic oh, yes. analysis. Romish was great at commentary because he sounds bored already. You can't... I am not built for that kind of commentary. I'm too up. I can't sustain that for five days, eight hours a day. Rabada comes in for his next delivery. Is he getting frustrated? We'll see. Oh! Straight down his throat there. Unbelievable. He grabbed for it, but to no avail. <laughs> Am I watching a different game? <laughs> it was a short ball from Rabada. It was a punch here, almost tried to pull from Ben Stokes. But he didn't quite catch it. He went back past the bowler. He got one run for it. Yeah, he did. It was sort of down his throat. Having been put in his place by Darren Goff, Ron began to fall apart. Lead by 338, uh, as Rabada steams in again. Uh, uh, the, oh, he's left that. He's left that. There's no, there's no, uh, there's no buffet ball there. Very tight. No point going for that. You're still on the air, Romesh. Uh And uh, that's the the end of the over. Uh, 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 yes, they're having a little bit of a break. Goffey. 
I'm sort of nervous. Am I going to say something that's inaccurate? Rob doesn't care about inaccuracy. Everything he says is inaccurate. He doesn't say anything that makes any sense. So why would he care about actually delivering information? Right, we'll leave you to it, guys. Thank you very Thank much. You very much. For Cheers. In. Thank Thanks. you. Been great fun. Great. And with that, our debuts and possibly careers as cricket commentators were over. Two comedians that you will no doubt be very well aware of if you're into your comedy. How do you find that? I found it very difficult. I don't think the headmaster's impressed with us. Do you know what? It feels like, you know when you're school assembly and you try not to laugh? That's what it felt like. He didn't like me. He didn't like either of us. I don't... Who's going to be the person of colour out of us? <laughs> I, I was just a little... I, and he thought I was, trying to, I was trying to end his career. Don't worry about me. This is South Africa. That's fine. I was like... <laughs> I just... The thing was, you know, I just can't start talking knowing that there's a certain point which you have to definitely stop. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? You, how do you time your anecdotes? You Especially you. I don't want my banter to be curtailed by the speed of a man running. I don't need the second half of that sentence. I just don't want your banter. <laughs>
and I had missed was Zach Crawley catching Quinton de Kock. Four more, yes! Woo! But South Africa still had a danger man out there who was holding firm. Van der Dossen, been there for almost three hours. Two men catching the covers. So do we dare to dream this could actually happen? I think it could happen. Getting closer and closer to crowding the batsmen. It's taken hours, but we've finally broken the deadlock. Come on, that was good, wasn't it? Trouble was, time was slipping away. And as the match entered the final hour, it was looking more and more like South Africa would drag out a gut-wrenching draw. I mean, the thought will be going through their head that there may be too much to do now. South Africa still had three wickets standing, and the game was on a knife edge. Tension is high, very, very deep into day five. With Jimmy Anderson injured, Ben Stokes was called up to bowl. He does have the X factor, Ben Stokes. Is he going to break it open? What's he going to do? How's it going to go? He looks focused, Stokes, doesn't he? Rob's nap must have done him some good, because that was the first intelligent observation he'd made all week. And you know what? He was absolutely right. With every ball, Stokes was getting closer and closer. Ben Stokes using every last ounce of energy that he has. But South Africa were holding on. Just. It's too good, this reverse swing. I tell you, way too good. They have fantastic deliveries. The fact that we can do that route, it just illustrates how much England support there's, there is here today, how much there's been throughout this test match. had delivered and as South Africa's ninth and penultimate batsman Anrik Nokia came in even Rob was on the edge of his seat this ball is a most likely to get him out first ball come on first ball come on It was a spectacular catch by Zach Crawley, and we were back. I mean, I was ready to quit on this sport yeah. just ten minutes ago. <laughs> it's now the best thing I've ever seen. Oh, my like. God, I've absolutely buzzing. <laughs> there was only one wicket standing between England and a historic win. Now one of the great cricketers of the modern game, Ben Stokes. Steaming in. Rolling with skill, heart and fire. Come on, England. Come on, England. Hearts are beating fast all around this ground. Catch that! Yes! Oh, England win the second test match. Come on! For the first time since 1957, England win in Cape Town. That was amazing! Yes! Ben Stokes had made the difference. An English hero who never gives up. Just like us. Always knew we were going to do it. Yeah, I never I, doubt it. I never always had it. faith. And Joe, you know what? I enjoyed all of it. Yeah. All there was never did. a point where I dropped no. out of it and thought. No point did I not believe. No. Or was bored by the process. It was an unbelievable end to the day, and to top it off, we were invited onto the field to soak in the atmosphere. 
again, Boo. Look, 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 look. Oh, weird. This is a nightmare. Yeah, I know. This is awful. This is an absolute nightmare. They hate this and is... I love us at the same time. It's horrendous. I was just going to say, it's, it's, it's so bad that we're, we're allowed to do this. Yeah, I know, I feel guilty. Barmy Army, yeah. they were going for it, even when it looked like it was a lost cause. Yes. They were going for it the whole way. Whereas you and I, let's be absolutely honest. Oh, yeah, I, I gave we, up. We dipped out. I tapped out. We dipped out. About quarter past two. And it does feel almost a bit bad, but then when suddenly when it goes our way, we're suddenly up for it and like shouting our heads off. Yeah. We didn't support as well as we could. I think we let the side down a little bit. Though. I would say I'm a cricket fan if that means that I'm in Cape Town in 30 degrees and yeah. we win a five day thriller. Yes. We were there, mate. Yeah, Two we hours it took yeah. to get one. I was on my phone, you were asleep, but yeah. we were there. Yeah, we were there. I was, yeah, I was unconscious, but that's, that's not the point, is it? Right, let's go for a drink. Barmy Army? Finish.